Thank you, President. My adjournment matter is for the Minister for Health. I was contacted by Nick and Megan from Rutherglen, who run a local cafe, Caffeine and Machine. It's a great new addition to the small community of Rutherglen. It has a modern industrial style layout with classic car and vintage motorcycle displays. The menu offers, offers a range of old school bakery items and offers great small town hospitality. Nick and Meg started their renovation of the old original mechanics site in the middle of 2020, and as such were ineligible for any support offered through grants during lockdown after lockdown in regional Victoria. Their determination to offer something new and exciting to their community saw them fight through the hardships imposed on them by the government, often when there was no COVID within 300 kilometres of Rutherglen. Now, with the vaccine mandates being enforced across the hospitality industry, Nick and Megan face a new wave of problems. First, it was a change of dates that left many hospitality venues understaffed due to the date of double vaccination status being brought forward from 26th of November to 22nd of October, with little notice. They juggled staff to manage until all staff could receive their second vaccine. Secondly, they are now facing the very real division that has been caused by having to police people's vaccination status. At Caffeine and Machine, they believe it's not their right or their responsibility to have to ask for the, their loyal patrons and passing trade for medical information. The nastiness and abuse that their staff have received from people angry that they must show their status of vaccine has escalated to the point of ridiculousness. Nick states, I have staff who are mentally not coping and junior staff that are ne needing protection. We are losing patrons hand over fist from either being forced to show a vaccination, vaccination certificate to be allowed to be seated or customers leaving because someone is making a scene about needing to show vaccination status and it becomes socially uncomfortable for seated patrons. Megan says, it is stressful and intimidating working in the sector now. Junior staff who once argued over who would be working on the till are now avoiding working front of house if they can. Like many small businesses, they feel the government has passed the onus onto them without any support or information. Government is not getting up-to-date information to these businesses, but is telling them to keep up with the latest restrictions and rules on the coronavirus website. I've made it clear I don't support any of the restrictions and mandates around vaccination status and the divide it is causing in our community. Minister, you need to recognise the damage you are doing with the imp implementation of these mandates. Small businesses have been hit hard at every turn especially our border businesses. They can't keep going under this pressure. They are ready to close the doors and walk away. The action I'm seeking is for the Minister to take responsibility of policing vaccination status away from business owners.